My name is Yu Tai Wai and I am an MBA student at the University of the People. My dissertation is entitled, A Case Study of Huawei's Cell Phones to Cope with Export Trade Challenges and Countermeasures. I would like to express my deepest gratitude to my supervisor. And I would like to express my heartfelt thanks to all the teachers at the University of the People for teaching me and guiding me. And I would like to express my heartfelt respect to all the teachers who have given me the opportunity to listen to their teachings in the past two years that I would like to present the purpose and main information of this thesis design to my teachers and ask Dr. Amrita for her criticism and guidance. This is my Hong Kong government issued ID card, first of all. As you can see from the table of contents of our thesis, we have divided our analysis into five main sections including, Section 1, Problem Statement. Section 2, Literature Review. Section 3, Case Elements. Section 4, Recommended Action Plan. Section 5, Case Solution. Let me talk about the introduction or background of this thesis. With the 40 years of China's reform and opening up and China's accession to WTO in 2001, China's economy has been booming and its comprehensive national power has been increasing. And more and more Chinese enterprises have emerged to actively participate in international competition, bravely explore foreign markets and strive to become international enterprises. Huawei Technologies is one of the companies that have made specific achievements on the road to internationalization under such a background. Founded in 1987, Huawei specializes in the research, development, production, and sales of communication network technologies and products, and is committed to providing network solutions for telecom operators in the fields of fixed networks, mobile networks, data communication networks, and value-added services, and is one of the major suppliers in the Chinese telecom market. Since its inception, Huawei has set the goal of going international and competing in the international market. With unremitting efforts, Huawei has now basically completed its international layout and has established marketing branches, R&D institutions, and joint ventures in 55 countries worldwide. <coughs> Section 1, Problem Statement Description of the Problem Situation Situation The U.S. International Trade Commission announced that it has launched a 337 investigation into 3G and 4G wireless devices manufactured by a number of manufacturers, including Huawei and ZTE to determine whether these products infringe on the patent rights of U.S. companies, which is derived from Section 337 of the U.S. Tariff Act of 1930. Under this provision, the U.S. International Trade Commission has the authority to investigate claims of patent and registered trademark infringement, in addition to investigations involving misappropriation of trade secrets, packaging infringement, counterfeiting, and false advertising. It is understood that if the company involved in the case is found to have violated Section 337, the USIC will issue an exclusion and prohibition order for the relevant products. Which means that the products involved in the case will be completely disqualified from being sold in the U.S. market. Chinese smartphones mainly to low prices and high configuration hardware is not a long-term solution, mobile internet era. The consumer's choice is more diverse, but also more discerning. Chinese smartphone brands want a long-term foothold, it is necessary for independent intellectual property rights and product design, the road to independent innovation. Huawei's export trade of cell phones faces three main problems. Problem 1. Multiple forms of international trade barriers. U.S. Department of Commerce has even issued an administrative summons to Huawei in June 2017 for an investigation into export restrictions on its design communication technology. The U.S. government has made China's foreign exports even tougher by establishing stricter regulations. The U.S. customs imposed on China's electronic communications equipment import tax increase, but also with the tax escalation, from the ad valorem tax to specific duty, problem to fierce competition for localization in China. The saturation situation in the world market is equally universal for the Chinese market. 
Huawei cell phones tried to conquer the Chinese communication market in all aspects, which became the unanimous enemy of the whole communication industry, disrupting the harmony of the original e-com domestic suppliers. At the same time, Huawei's cell phones switch back to China from foreign countries has led the Chinese domestic cell phone industry and foreign communication manufacturers to pay high attention to this market in China. Problem 3 Patent Technology Barriers In the world of the electronic communication equipment industry, new patents replace old ones from time to time, and patents are an important weapon to protect a company's own intellectual property rights. In June 2017, the U.S launched another 337 investigations into China's cell phone industry, in which the U.S. International Trade Commission investigated a group of Chinese cell phone manufacturers exporting to the U.S., claiming that their products infringed on U.S. intellectual property rights, causing unfair competition and unfair acquisition. While China has always not taken the initiative on patents, in the face of these allegations, Chinese companies should strive to do a good job in managing intellectual property rights and at the same time strengthen the training of intellectual property talents. <clears throat> Secondly, I will talk about Section 2, Literature Review of this paper. The main references are the following six research sources. Again, I will talk about Section 3, Case Elements of this paper. Huawei cell phone in the face of the past few years of the U.S. and China trade war, trade barriers, and other issues, production is particularly difficult and has been declining in recent years the United States sanctions. Many Chinese companies, in the 337 investigations, the U.S. International Trade Commission can be issued against Huawei exclusion and prohibition order coupled with Huawei is prohibited to use containing more than 25% of the United States Huawei is unable to buy the most advanced chips after exhausting its inventory, making its production capacity subject to chip supply.u.s. Signed a trade ban restricting Huawei's phones from using Google's Play Store service, which could seriously affect the company's overseas sales. We explained in week three that Huawei faces three major problems in exporting cell phones. There are three main alternatives as follows. Point one. As indicated in FIG.in June 2017, the U.S. Department of Commerce already filed a 337 investigation against Huawei for setting up the 337 investigation. The U.S. Department of Commerce's charges against Huawei are particularly important due to the protective technology embargo provisions imposed by the U.S. Even though the U.S. government has made China's foreign exports more severe by establishing stricter regulations, as we can see from the graph in 2018, Chinese smartphones still delivered an impressive performance in the year will break the dominance of Korean and American brands in the global smartphone market, with a market share of 54%. According to Trendforce Consulting's analysis of the global smartphone market in 2017, it was found that sales grew again due to the year-end peak season. Global smartphone production totaled 384 million units in the third quarter of 2017 up 6% year-on-year. Chinese brands saw year-on-year -year growth of up to 20%. In terms of production rankings, Samsung, Apple, Huawei, Oppo, and Vivo remained in the top five respectively in the third quarter, followed by Xiaomi. It can be seen that the market has a strong demand for the Chinese cell phone industry, and the world economy is nothing but a price war-led economic power match, the U.S. Import taxes levied on China have increased year by year, as China is mainly processing trade, while Huawei is the leading brand created by China. Resulting in the cost of finished products compared to the international market price a considerable competitive advantage, the U. S. Customs import taxes levied on China's electronic communications equipment to increase, but also with the escalation of taxes, from ad valorem tax to ad specific duty. Another major problem Huawei phones have encountered in North America is that its equipment supply treaties have been noted to be detrimental to U.S. national security. It was even appealed to the U.S. Senate by mainstream U.S. communications companies asking the U.S government to make a bill to ban imports for user security violations under Huawei's framework agreement. 
The U.S. government proposed even more stringent security restriction regulations within a short period, causing Huawei to have to recodify its security directives on short notice, resulting in the loss of North American exports during this period. Point two, in the face of China's fiercely competitive localized environment. Huawei cell phone is the number one communications equipment manufacturer in China today. The scale of capital expansion is beyond the reach of any other communications equipment manufacturer. However, Huawei company has experienced overseas capital transfer back to domestic expansion while trying to conquer the Chinese communications market on all fronts. This has become the unanimous enemy of the entire communications industry. Disrupt the original Com domestic suppliers and Harmony. At at the same time, Huawei's return to the country has brought about a revitalization of the domestic communications manufacturing industry in the same form. And foreign communications manufacturers attach great importance to this market in China. Point three. Patent technology barriers. Huawei cell phones and the export of such patent barriers often face the importing country trade protection behavior. The U.S. International Trade Commission investigated a group of Chinese exports to the United States containing several domestically produced cell phones, such as Huawei cell phones and Xiaomi cell phones, claiming that their products infringed on U.S. intellectual property rights, resulting in unfair competition and unfair profitability. China has always been in the patent does not occupy the initiative to a considerable degree is dependent on foreign patents, and the use of patents is bound to the transfer of patent rights. Patent rights barriers, as an important part of non-tariff barriers, measures the strict and huge impact of 337 investigations. Chinese enterprises should strive to do a good job in the management of intellectual property rights while strengthening the training of intellectual property rights personnel. <coughs> Improve R&D capability and enhance innovation ability. To cope with the endless international trade barriers to achieve better development of the company, enterprises should deepen the management system and technical reform, chase key industry rules, and strive to catch up with the standard requirements in the industry, while seeking international standards, but also to do to a more advanced level of science and technology, which requires enterprises to have better innovation ability. And innovation and development ability is the way of survival of enterprises. The improvement of innovation ability in February 2018, Huawei pioneered the commercial 5G chip, which brought a huge shock to the whole industry. Commercial 5G will serve as the cornerstone of a new era in the future to dock more business channels, which has become a touchstone for Huawei to lead the world technology to create the 5G era. Therefore. In terms of improving the quality of the company's exports, Huawei should increase its investment in scientific research funds, enhance its innovation strength and innovation capacity, and make greater innovations and breakthroughs in new areas of core technology. Point two: Establish a perfect management system. In the face of an increasingly competitive environment, time becomes increasingly fast. Competitors and the company are scrambling to conduct trade negotiations and transactions. Only organized work is conducive to standardized and harmonious operation, and only the establishment of a good management system can help to effectively unblock the pivot between the interaction of information through the point-to-point -point division of departments. To allow the company to have better organizational control, coordination, and feedback, the division of labor in each department. Through the establishment of different goals and plans for the planning, so that the entire enterprise operation of a clear structure and clear lines. Point three: reasonable layout of overseas markets and broadening of overseas sales channels. As the world electronic communication market gradually tends to be saturated, how to develop new markets has become a problem that every communication company in the world must consider. So, in terms of market development. It is necessary to dig more into new overseas markets in order to achieve steady growth in the process of gradually smoothing out the world sales competition. 
Huawei has achieved advanced results in tapping the market demand in various regions and in 2017 invested in a large number of communication infrastructures to regions with weaker communication capabilities like Africa and South America. Laying a solid foundation for the future bulk delivery and export of Huawei cell phones. In some regions where basic communications are more popular, Huawei has launched in depth cooperation with local communications providers and through data sharing and talent transfer. It has maintained stable exchanges between the two parties and also made excellent contributions to bilateral stability. The company should continue to strengthen cooperation with other companies, improve the added value of its products, accelerate the pace of innovation, and become a winner in the competition. Point four. Actively apply for various patents and protect invention patents. China's mobile communication industry in the world patent field started late with slow development. Mastering the core technology was once very limited, resulting in early China to overseas exports of communications equipment because the various patents were not entitled to use, resulting in international trade between the fine and more Chinese companies lost export image. Huawei should do a good job on the application and protection of patents the patent field, and development to cause sufficient attention. Only in this way can we take the lead in the international market in terms of intellectual property trade, thus winning a larger market share and greater trade profits. Being faster and faster, Chinese enterprises in the export of communication equipment often face not only the trade barriers of developed countries, and even a variety of trade situation conflicts that can cause the creation of national means of trade protection forms, if in today's communication equipment export enterprises do not carry out better research for export trade methods. It will cause failure in the world economic arena. In this paper, by studying the various barriers and protections Huawei cell phones encounter in the process of exporting to the world, we find further countermeasures that should be done to deal with these protections not only to innovate in all aspects, but also to establish new rules and regulations in the management system, and at the same time to rationalize the layout of overseas markets, develop new sales channels and sales targets, and moreover to avoid risks and enhance vigilance in the transaction process. In the world economic arena which is changing rapidly but also remains relatively stable, only by becoming an enterprise with strong competitiveness can we become the leader of the industry. Thank you for watching. My expression is finished. There are shortcomings. Welcome teacher criticism correction.